Welcome to the Killing Floor Games semi-final. This is game three on Forgotten. This game is the Headhunters, who qualified for the semi-finals with a time of 19 minutes 20 in their quarter-final match on Aperture. I'm Grail, and tonight I'm joined by Egg. Hi, great to be with you all. Give me back to you, Grail. Uh, this is a very impressive team. I'm not sure where they came from, but uh, in the quarter-final, they almost took it out, beaten by... Was it something like 6 or 12 seconds or something? 12 seconds between them and MGC who came first, so very tight fought match. Yeah, so looking forward to seeing, uh, well, all kinds of stuff from this team, really. I don't really know what they're going to do with perks. Not sure where they're going to camp. Looks like we got a couple of subs, a demo and a sharp. I think that's the same perk loadout they had in the last game. So yeah, obviously a perk loadout they're comfortable are, uh, with. Yeah, they're a bit more sub-heavy than some of the other teams we've seen so far. Always makes a good except, viewing, though. Yep, except for, ironically, the Sharp Specialists. Who yeah, had the three support. no longer with us. I'm, I'm still no. sad about that, actually. Yeah, so this is the team that has Kaio, who likes to uh, take on Scrakes with his machete. Oh, I'm looking forward to seeing more of that, actually. Yep, I, I watch, watch that, that all night long. Yeah. <laughs> so fearless. Yeah, I'm a big fan of the fearless play, actually. Uh, it always looks good. It um, tends to be a bit of a low percentages, high reward move, but when it comes off, fantastic. Nah, it looks spectacular. And when it doesn't come off, it can also look spectacular. <laughs> Different kind of spectacular, I suppose. I'm sure the players would argue against that. So... A demo, two supports, and a sharpshooter. They're probably going to go for a tight hold spot. Thankfully, on this map, they've got plenty to choose from. Yeah, there's so many uh, sharp corners around uh, on this map. It's, um, yeah, it may very well favour a bit of sub action. Lots of shotgunning. Still waiting for them to uh, start. Well, it looks like they're ready to go. Bit of chatter there earlier, but yeah. Here we go. And there's some machetes already bought. Book it! Affirmative. This time it's Hebron who's got the machete, not Kaya. I was about to say, yeah. Pass, yeah, we'll the, pass the machete on. Alright. So, did they just pass? Kyle got the machete at that time. Alright. Long corridor. So, this is similar to the position that uh, Synergy were holding in the previous game. Just one corridor over. Same strategy, it looks like though, but more in your face with the shotguns. Yeah, it's a bit of a bit of a sup versus uh, sharp shootout here today. It is. Kyo's got the back by himself, and he's got an awkward spot with those stairs right there. Yeah, I have to say for my money, uh, that position that Kaya's got is perhaps better suited for a sharp. Possibly. Yeah. Although Not the that elevation be will trouble with the bone. That's right, the elevation would potentially play havoc with his uh, headshots and he is close to the stairs. Three sirens at the back for Kaya. Everyone's there helping him out, although he's turning his back on him now. Boom, all gone. Yeah, good team awareness then. So this team has had issues with pings before, slow network connections, and as I said at the beginning of this game, they don't have any, so that's a good start. They almost used up all their pause time before they even fired a bullet in anger last game. Yeah, I think that'll be a weight off their minds. 
lots of smoke in this side corridor here at the moment. Could be wrong, but it looks like this team's holding a little bit further back than uh, Synergy did. Yeah, yeah one corridor well back. And yeah, they're holding back deeper into the corridor, I guess. Might play a little bit of havoc if they get too many husks at the same time. A nice fast wave one. Kaio's playing with uh, that gore fast, kiting it with his knife. Yep, roger that. Wait up, new mag in. Polish it, polish it off and Both barrels for you, bastards. get on with it. There we go. Book it. Just three, minutes, three minutes, five seconds. Nice time. That's okay, pretty good. Cashier, someone grab it. Loads of money. And are they moving? Yes, looks like they are. Who needed money? So this is a spot that is held commonly in pub games if they're going to hold it here. Leg it. And yep, looks like they're holding here. They're skipped. This is a spot that. Um, Synergy also held with some success, so hugging hey, traders. Well, this team wasn't uh, afraid to hug traders in the last uh, last round as well. Yep, definitely they went to wherever the trader was. Pretty, yeah, um, flexible pretty flexible. Kaya has the stairs by himself, and as yet, who's up? There we go, something to shoot. Flush pound at the front, taken care of by everyone. This is the way to hold this spot, definitely. You want to have one guy holding the stairs pretty much by themselves, two holding the long corridor where Yago and Hado, Hando are, and a floater if you can, so that if the person at the stairs gets in trouble, there's someone to help them out. Watch it, I'm reloading. It tends to be a little bit slower, this, uh, this spot, than uh, some other spots. But the advantage clearly is that if you skip almost a full trade of time, then the slowness of the spot is offset by the safe safety that it provides. Yeah, it'll certainly pay for itself. Just been watching Kai, he's doing a bit of uh, ammo saving, switching to the 9 milli from time to time. Yeah, I'm watching him do that now. It's pretty good, yeah, especially it's good at range. Save on money and, uh, yep. well, potentially uh, save on trader times. One was to think about going for a trader skip. That 9 million I'd like to sit around, just not being used ever. It does. Just, just oh, geez, puts a big weight in your pocket. It's called it. Kyo finishes it off with Mink Shotgun. Wasn't quite the, the other good spot. Seen, but in the end, it no. didn't even get a strike. No, that's right. It might have quite a few more grenades, but at the end of the day, it doesn't matter how many grenades you use as long as it doesn't kill anyone. The other advantage of that spot is if they get in trouble, it's got a really good escape route. Yeah, it's very popular with pubs, I think partly for that reason. Yep. Saying that, they did that pretty quickly, so even though it's generally slower, uh, their firepower has made it go pretty no problem, quick. Mate. No problem. Loading. I wonder if we're going to get another flexible camp spot here. Stand still, I'm trying to help. Last set's taken down. Six minutes, nineteen. That was about Who's the same time to finish as the first wave. Yep, that was good. Alright, where are they sure, going? Pal. They're on the move again. Looks like they might be heading back to the first spot they camped. Back so to the they long might just, yep, here we yep, are. They might yep, just skipped. tag team camp spots. Hold Already on, close to two minutes in trader time skipped. Now this is a big sodding gun. Flesh pound back Kaya's way. Oh crap, don't let that big yep, bug in. called it. Oh, nothing too serious with that flesh pound, or the double 
might be a bit ugly, eh? Yeah, he hasn't clean, cleanly killed them yet. Um, they've had to be taken out by um, other players with shotguns. Um, a double could definitely, definitely stretch them. Especially if they come from different directions. If they come from the one direction, then the penetration of the shotguns might still get them out of trouble. Uh, there's the KM move. Basically yep. Down again. I think he picked Smash. up the husk in the same move. He did. That shotgun penetration. This this corridor is just made for it, isn't it? Same with same with sharps. That penetration, but those two perks is really good tight spots. Yeah, this long corridor is definitely very well suited to both. Yeah, if we check out the kill count, it's pretty even across the board. Good distribution once again. 14 between the top and the bottom, so that's really good. Everyone's playing their part. So, what do we reckon they're going to be doing at this point in time? Any early predictions? Uh, you mean timelines? Well, yeah. 20 minutes looks well within reach, that's for sure. Yeah, 20 minutes or just under or over. Yeah, I think something of their auto is uh, looking very good so far. Kyo agrees. It's nothing better than seeing a big group of crawlers hit by a grenade. Flesh pound. And we have our first very clear kill there, taken out nicely. I'm trying to work out if Kai is using the 9mm to save an ammo, or if it's just purely for style. Could be both. Um, he might also be using it at range, just to take headshots on certain Zeds that might be just out of his shotgun's optimum effect. Can't you see I'm reloading? That would be a more logical explanation, that's true. Run for it! Just being pursued by a couple of crawlers and a couple of clots. Sure, and we've got Nine and a half minutes. Affirmative. Bam. Single crossbow shot to take the two clots out. Gosh. So they'll probably Everyone's definitely head hot. back to that spot. And they should be looking to start this wave around the 10 minute mark. Just a little bit over, perhaps. Or if they skip early. That depends a bit on how brave they're feeling, but. One second over ten, so they're on fire at the moment. This is looking like a yeah, good time. Very good. Flush pound at the front again. Look out, you One of the advantages they've got here is that the flesh pound is basically telegraphing himself and there's a lot of open room and a lot of distance for Hebron to get that kill. Yeah, certainly got plenty of room to play with in this corridor, which is really what you want as a demo. It's not in any danger of blowing himself up unless things go horribly wrong. Yeah, this, uh, the shotguns are really working nicely here. And we can't discount Yago's sharp work. The Scrakes have uh, not been doing anything. Yeah, they've had no trouble from the strikes at the front. Or the back. Interestingly, one of the real values of the sharp at the front is taking out bloats. They're so tall that the penetration power of the shotgun not very helpful because it basically ends up in the roof anyway. It does, yeah. Sirens don't have a hope, do they? They come down that corridor and it's just full of pellets. And they go down screaming. Well, not screaming. Yeah, this team is case very little damage. Mm. 
They are definitely a team in control here. They clearly know this map very well. And I think it just shows um, their first game on Steamland where they didn't make it to the pat. That was clearly the anomaly. And was probably a map that they weren't that familiar with. When they play on a map they've got some uh, good familiarity with, their skill set is clearly coming to the fore. Flush pound with a siren. He got a few Cleaned steps in after the rage. Yep, got a few steps in after the rage, but uh, Kaio with this great kill. But they did take that flush pound out before it got to grips with them. It's quite nasty. Um, All right. Siren spawning with flash pounds. It messes up the demos. It does. They do have, again, that, that extra range here. Kaio just got caught. Uh, they do have that extra distance, though, which means that the siren often won't be screaming when they want to engage. So that gives them that little bit of leeway. The siren's not popping nades. Yes. Yeah, we'll do. Okay, okay. Sure, pal. So I reckon they're going to camp up here again. Because if they've shown anything, they're going to money, money, money. take the spot near the trader in this sure, situation. Pal. And they're already dropping pipes, and Hebron's going to go back for Morrissey. He's just putting him around the place. Skipped. Beginning wave 10, 13 minutes 40, 3 minutes 13 trader time skip. Pipe. Okay, interesting drop. Not quite sure what's going on there. I guess that's in case of emergency. Someone could lead a flesh pound back into that corner. Uh, a bit of a safety plane, you think? Yeah. By the way, there was I can't think a piece of screen cleaned up. Reasonably well. Yeah, I can't think of anything else that they put the pipe there for, so. It must be, if you have a raging flesh pound on you and you're going to die, run back into the corner. Well, it certainly can be good to have a plan B. It doesn't take much for things to go horribly wrong in this type of tournament. Just a constant stream of gunfire down that front corridor there. Double husk. Yeah, it certainly has been very busy down there. It's really fun yep. on the morning. Yeah, I reckon we're going to get sub 20 or just over 20 here, Mart. Mart's asking for an end time. I reckon we might be looking at around about 19 minutes 45. Well, that's a very precise estimate. Yeah, I'm on yep. board with uh, something around the 20 minute mark. Watch it, I'm reloading. Perhaps under. And we see again that this spot, even though it's a little bit slower than the one they were holding previously, that extra um, saved trader time just really counterbalances it. Yeah, actually we're seeing quite a lot of trader time saved. It's well in excess of three minutes. Watch it, I'm reloading. And there's still one to go. Yep, 3 minutes 13 is an impressive, impressive amount of save trader time. When you've only got a handful of traders to go to, it's just like effectively they've missed half their traders. Double flush pan at the front, both raging, both killed. And raging both strike, killed. Cleaned up as well. Got the impression Handel was basically just waiting for that scrape to come to him so he could knock it out. I think he was, yeah. Or if the flesh pounds got through, I think he was just ready there to put whatever came through that smoke down. I'm assuming that's Yago agreeing with us. No, I think so. They can clearly hear what's going on in this uh, team speak. <laughs> and again, have a look at their armor is almost fully intact. Only Yago has taken any damage to his armor, and it's almost insignificant. So. They have not been getting scratched. Head for the shop. They've not been getting touched. Everything that's been coming up has been falling over. 
stand still? Do I look like I'm nicking yeah, stuff? Yeah, they dropped me off the edge there. It's about the most damage. Stand still. Do I look like I'm nicking stuff? Maybe a slight overstatement, but not really by much. Yep, Siren's putting a little bit of hurt on them, but you're always going to take a Siren if you run into them on the way to the trader on this map. Yeah, roger that. Alright, we're getting ready for the final trader. 17 minutes and 2. Okay, cash here. Someone grab it. Interesting to see where they take him. Cash here, grab it like, all. Uh, oh. Like okay. a Mac 10 in there. A Mac 10? Yeah. yeah. That was unexpected. Who's got the Mac 10? I'm trying to heal you, not shit. I can't see you. a Mac 10. Stand still, you clown. Oh, so There's an M32. No, no problem. I bought it and then sold it again. I think you made a mistake. Probably. Because the Mac 10 doesn't, you uh, no doesn't set them on fire off. Okay. It just does lots of recoil. Beginning. So, oh, oh. what happened there? I think the Pat might have detonated some pipes. It must have. Oh, that I've like got a, a radial. Oh, radial attack hit all three of them. Oh, another one's down. Unfortunate. They can still do this. That was a very this. unlucky start. It was. They can still do this, but it's going to be tough. I'm thinking that they're going to probably have to uh, redo this. Although, that was a, a supreme effort by Kaio. They still need to get some health back on Kaio, though. Yeah, I think Yago needs to do the heal, but... He does. A little bit target focused at the moment. Yep. Perhaps not surprising given the circumstances. A lot of grenades forcing the pat back. None of them hit him though. Right, that one might have hit him. Rocket time. Nice dodge. Nice dodge. Oh, oh no, nice dodge. dodge. And they forced him away. These two players. This is a nice clutch so far. Can they get the. Can they get the, the kill? That was his last heal. They could do this. Wait up, new mag in. Lots of grenades again. Oh, Kyo's like down. That do might be it. it. I'm dying here. Down. Bad luck. That was looking really oh, promising for a clutch. Oh, such an unlucky start being caught by the Pat's rocket. Yep. Money, money, that money. Was very unfortunate. Loads of money. But I so thought that Kaio and Yago there were going to pull that clutch off. They were looking Let's so, go, so in control. That was very close, wasn't it? They almost got away with it. They should be commended for that, that attempt there. They weren't using perks like you would expect to be able to hold out solo in that position. I mean, lots of firepower, but they can't really avoid very easily the uh, attacks and they did so well to dodge so many. Well they certainly got this strategy worked out and it looks pretty rock solid to me so we just need a little bit of luck to go their way this time. So sent some people out to join the paddy. Almost paid for it. Yep. Yep. Hando's lost almost probably two thirds of his armor and had lost half of his health. And I don't think he knows where he's heading at the moment. He's on the other side from his friends. Yeah, he's taken a long way. Yep. They did very well for trade times as well, all the threes. Oh, everyone's almost down oh, from that chain gun. Oh, I'll provoke the radio and dodge. Lots of firepower. Bang. Wow. 
That was an impressive finish. They did so well there. Imagine if they did that the first time. Clearly that's what they wanted to do. They got their revenge on him. Ah uh, yeah, that Paddy's gonna know has been in a fight. Yep, good game. Pity about that uh that wipe oh, crap. there. First Sorry. of Pat.